Welcome to the Church of Thomas. Endless Garden, 9-23-11. Since many of the people that I counsel are the healers, the helpers, the builders, the um, creative people of the world, it is important to understand where your source comes from. I have an analogy that draws together the idea of self-care with the idea of creativity and healing. <clears throat> the statement is, if you do not fertilize your own garden, you cannot feed anyone. The idea behind this is, if you are a garden who constantly gives and is not replenished in some way, if you do not take time out to meditate, to pray, to be alone, to do things that help you recreate yourself. You deplete your creative energy, your healing energy, your ability to empathize with others. You're overwhelmed. The burnout rate among healers is quite high. Matter of fact, uh, many teachers and healers only make it about five years if they are of the highly empathetic variety. If you do not take time out to fertilize your own garden, you won't be able to heal or feed or create beauty for anyone. Self-care is very important in massage therapy as well. One of the classes that I had when I was studying was the idea that yes, you might have you know 30 or 40 clients in a week, but if you don't take time out to rest, you won't be doing it very long. And sure enough, there were many people in my class who burned out. They wound up with injuries to their wrists, to their forearms, to their hips. Uh, they, they couldn't continue doing what they wanted to do. In their hearts, they were more than willing to do it, but their bodies failed them. If you don't eat properly, if you don't take time to sleep a full night's sleep, or full day sleep if you're a night person. If you don't eat a well-balanced diet, if you don't go to the doctor regularly and find out why you're having this weird pain over here, if you do not take care of yourself in the long run, it doesn't matter how self-sacrificing you are, you will be cutting your lifetime of giving short. And that is not a way of honoring God. Here's a quote that I thought was really interesting. Uh, it was by Rabbi Halil. It's about self-care. Um, and the, the message is, you have a solemn obligation to take care of yourself because you never know when the world will need you. Now, in this particular reference, he was thinking of a grand act. But I look at every act of healing, of teaching, of educating, of comforting, of uh, protecting as that moment when the world will need you. So go out there and make sure that you take care of yourself. And then you can give to everybody you want to instead of having to limit yourself because you just can't do it. God bless the whole world. No exceptions. Angel Eliza.